Welcome to Camp Takwa. We're sorry you couldn't make it here for our actual tour day, uh, but we're going to give you a little virtual tour around camp. Um, so to start off, Camp Takwa, we're located in Morton, Maryland, um, on the Chesapeake Bay. It's about an hour and a half from the Philadelphia area, those of you that are from there. Um, we have over 300 acres of property, as well as over a mile of beachfront on the Chesapeake Bay. Um, we were started in 1938 um, as a camp for kids to come to. Um, and then if you want to learn more about our mission, check it out right here at the bottom. I don't know all the words exactly, so just give it a little read. All right, everyone, let's go. Um, so a little bit about our programs is we have it starting from completed kindergarten for our kids. Uh, that'll be our three day mini camp. Then our regular camp sessions start completed second grade. They go all, all the way until completed ninth grade. You can go to one or two week camp. Um, past that, we have the LIT program for current 10th graders and the CIT program for current 11th graders. Some of our specialty programs we have here, the first one is Tikwa, which is our skiing and sailing program. Um, that you'll be able to ski and sail on the Chesapeake Bay all day. Um, other programs we have are a mini camp, um, which is three days, a good introduction to camp. We also have family camps at Memorial Day, as well as summer's end at the end of August. And we also have retreats throughout the year. So for school groups, church groups, uh, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, um, all those sorts of things as well. Welcome to the dining hall. So this is where we meet three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Before breakfast, we have flag as well as before dinner. And that's where we all come together as a whole camp um, and reflect on the day. If you want some more information about the daily schedule and what that looks like, look right here. We'll list it for you. All right, let's go inside and check out the dining hall. <laughs> Welcome to the gate side of the dining hall. Um, this is where we all come to eat. Um, we're gonna have family style meals here. So everyone sits at their cabin and eats together. Um, it looks a little different right now because it's pretty quiet and kind of empty, uh, but take a little look around. Cool, now we're gonna head on into the kitchen. All right, so we have lots of kid-friendly food here. Everything from chicken nuggets to grilled cheese. We do have vegetables as well for some of those kids who like their veggies. Um, if you're vegan, vegetarian, have any dietary restrictions or allergies, you're gonna come to this window as well. We have a special chef here that makes all your food for you and will help serve you and get you what you need. Outside the dining hall, we have the camp post office. Um, this is where we pick up our packages and letters before dinner every day. Um, while your campers at camp, but you'll have lots of ways to communicate with them. Um, you can send them emails in our Bunk One system, as well as drop off some letters or packages at check-in, um, or send them some good old-fashioned mail. Uh, we also have some staff called Parent Liaisons, um, which are always available to talk to you and call you back if you have questions or just want to check in on your camper. Now we're at our stables, and this is where we keep our horses in the summer. Um, right now there's no horses because they're not here for the summer yet. Um, so if you want to do horseback riding or equestrian programs here, um, you have a couple different options. You can do riding lessons, um, which will be like one hour block, 45 minute block during your schedule, um, where you'll learn how to do some riding. Um, if you want some more lessons, you can do equestrian camp. Um, that's a two period block, so about an hour and a half. Um, in that you learn more about horse care, um, some veterinary stuff. Um, and then if you just want kind of a little introduction to horseback riding, you can do some trail rides. Um, this you would sign up for your block after dinner and your free choice activity. Um, all of our equestrian programs are extra cost and you can get more information on those on our website. Check out our stables. at our ropes course. Um, so the ropes course is used by our Chickasaw and IROC campers. Um, they're gonna be the ones that are going into seventh and eighth grade. Um, they get to do an afternoon out on the high ropes course and then a morning doing team building um, back in the woods on our low ropes course. We also have the climbing wall right here um, and that's able to be signed up by any camper um, to do that as one of their activities while they're here. 
Okay. Behind me is our swimming pool. Um, it's not open right now because it's still a little too cold out. Um, when campers get to camp, we're gonna swim test them on the first day um, to make sure that they can swim in the pool. If not, we'll provide swim instruction and life jackets if they need it while swimming. Um, campers can go to the pool as an activity that they choose um, or for free swim after dinner. They'll also have some scheduled pool parties and pool cabin time um, at the pool. We also, if you want to check it out, have an awesome water slide called the Wet Willy. Um, it's a good one if you ever get a chance to try it. Welcome to one of the girls' villages here at camp. Um, we're going to show you around a bit, show you inside one of the cabins, um, what they typically look like, and then inside the wash house as well. This is how I walk. All right, so now we're at Tunica Cabin. Um, I'm going to show you inside. Cabins look similar to this, but some of them may look a little bit different. Um, but this is one just to give you an idea. Come on in. Here is what's typically the counselor section. Each cabin will have one or two counselors and then maybe a CIT or LIT as well. If you go into the back, this is the camper section. Um, each camper section has usually eight beds. Um, sometimes they will have six beds. Some things we might recommend that you bring to camp are fan, um, the kind that clip on to the side of your bed and are small are the best. Um, we also recommend you bring some fitted sheets for your mattress. Um, to put on top of that, you can bring a sleeping bag if you would like, um, or a blanket as well as a pillow. Um, if you want more information on what to bring to camp, make sure to check out our website and we have a packing list on there. Now we're at the girls wash house, which we currently like to call the blue wash house. Um, every day they're going to have shower hour at the end of the day uh, before their cabin time and bedtime. Um, we can show you on inside. Come on in. So this is inside the wash house. Some things we recommend campers to bring are a shower caddy. Um, this will help them bring all of their shower stuff here when it's time to shower. And we also recommend that they bring some shower shoes. Um, just some basic flip-flops work perfect. Okay. This big grassy area behind me is the main athletic field, um, or as we like to call it, the MAF, spelled M-A-F. Um, here we do lots of different big camp activities, um, like the land versus water staff soccer game. Um, we also have Carnival Day and Taco Games Day, um, pretty much around this area. Those are gonna be if you're staying a two-week session um, on the Saturday and Sunday. Um, right now we have a lot of our boats out there uh, that we're just getting ready to put into the water. All right, now we're walking up to some of our different courts here at camp. Um, we have a tennis court and a basketball court. And then over here on the other side, we're gonna have an archery range. Um, it's not set up right now. Those are just some of our athletic activities we have. Um, we also have soccer, rugby, lacrosse, um, target sports. That includes archery tag as well as axe throwing. Uh, that's a new one we added last year. Um, other ones are mountain biking. Um, we have a ton of other athletics. I think those are all the ones we have and then I can think of for now. Um, a longer list will be on the website. Now we're at our tennis courts, um, which of course we use for tennis but we also use them for our camp dance um, and activity signups as well. Um, a little bit more about how our activity signups work. Um, before you get to camp online, you'll put down your prerequisite land and water activities, um, one of each. And these are like your must haves for coming to camp. Um, once you get here, you'll be able to choose the rest of your schedule based off of what you're interested in, what sounds cool, um, and then maybe some, what some of your cabin mates are doing. All right, so this is our wellness center, um, which is basically just a cooler name for our nurse's office here at camp. Um, the nurses will give out meds before each meal, as well as at bedtime for any campers that need meds. Um, any kid who might have a cut or need some kind of medical attention can also come here for sick call, which is after every meal um, and then at bedtime as well. We always have two nurses on property, as well as some wellness assistants um, that are there to care for the kids. 
Um, if you have any sort of allergies or medical concerns, uh, make sure you put that into your health paperwork. Now we're at the Gaga Ball Pit, which is something I forgot when I was talking about athletic activities. Um, if you don't know what Gaga Ball is, it's a really fun classic camp game. Um, you can sign up to play it or it's just fun to play um, while you're around camp waiting for other things to start, like when you're waiting for dinner to begin. Um, so we have this around camp and then also some tether balls and just some fun games to play. Now we're going to check out one of our boys' cabins, um, so come on in. Um, something important to note is if you have a friend from home that you want to have stay in your cabin with you, um, you can put in a cabinet request, um, but everyone is only allowed to have one mutual cabinet request. Um, so make sure they're putting down the same one as you, and you can only pick one friend. Um, this is because we don't want to have too much clicks in cabins, and we want everyone to be able to make new friends while they're All right, so this is our ad building. Um, it's the main office of camp where we get done a lot of that boring, not as fun work as the rest of camp has going on. Um, campers always can come here if they have any kind of issue or need help in any sort of way. Um, it's also where our parents and guests um, can check in when they come to camp. This is our arts and crafts shed uh, where we have our arts and crafts activity. Um, in there you'll get to tie-dye, which is everyone's favorite on Tuesday, um, and do some other crafts as well. We also have more fine arts activities. Um, they include jewelry, cooking, dance and drama, um, newspaper. Um, I think that's all of them if I can remember. Right, so this building behind me is what we like to call the wigwam. Um, inside we have our kitchen for cooking. Um, and on the outside, we have our nature center right here on the porch. Um, so we do have an outdoor exploration um, section to our activities at camp. Um, they include nature, outdoor cooking, um, bay adventures where you do some bay studies and learn about the Chesapeake Bay, um, as well as survival craft where you build forts um, and do some survival things out in our woods. So now we're walking down our main waterfront road. Um, this takes us past some cabins and to our waterfront. Um, right here next to me, we have our Tikwa buildings. Um, this is for our Tikwa specialty water sports camp. Um, and that's going to be any camper completed seventh grade up until completed 10th grade. Um, in Tikwa, what they're going to do is a little more advanced skiing and wakeboarding um, and advanced sailing as well. So looking more into racing um, as well as like some tricks on skis and wakeboards. Now we're at our main waterfront. Um, we have two waterfronts here, the main waterfront and then Cho Beach. Um, the main waterfront is usually for the older kids as well as our morning evening activities. Um, Cho Beach is for our younger kids. Um, right now our beach is a little messy. You have a lot of sticks on there that are just washed up. Um, but don't worry, those will all be cleaned up by the time camp starts. Um, some of the activities we have down here, we have tons of different waterfront activities. Uh, sailing, of course, water skiing. Um, both of those have beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels, um, which you can sign up for in your activities. Um, we also have paddle sports, which are paddle boarding, um, canoeing, kayaking, corkling, which if you don't know what corkling is, it's like a little saucer that you get to paddle around in. Um, and we have windsurfing as well. Down at the beach, we also do lots of morning and evening cabin activities. Um, so these would be done with your cabin together. Um, you'll go tubing, you'll go on a boat ride, or maybe you'll do what we call sand snack. Um, and that's just making some s'mores down here at the beach. Thank you so much for coming on our camp tour today. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, and we're really looking forward to seeing you at camp this summer.